Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and today we'll be discussing about what hypertension headache is. Hopefully from today's video, you'll have a clear understanding of what hypertension headache is, the symptoms, the cause, as well as a solution in terms of treating, managing, and preventing hypertension headache. So, firstly, headache has always been associated with high blood pressure, or what we call hypertension. But the exact mechanism and its prognostic use is largely unknown. Now, while the most current research would suggest that in most cases, that headache is not associated with hypertension, unless of hypertensive crisis, it is still suggested that health practitioners ask about headaches in order to establish a history when assessing for hypertension. Now, let's talk about what the normal blood pressure is. Blood pressure is rated with two numbers. The first number being the systolic number and the second number being the diastolic number. Now, normal blood pressure is around about 120 over 80. Now, in those with mild hypertension, which is mild high blood pressure, they are classified as having a diastolic blood pressure measuring around about 140 to 159 millimeters of mercury, and the systolic pressure being around about 90 to 99. So that is higher than 120 over 80. And in most patients who have been diagnosed with this, have been linked with a high prevalence of headache symptoms. Now, it has been reported that in 1 in 10 people have been reporting of having hypertension and the prevalence increases with age with 45% of people over the age of 75 experiencing it. Now, what are the common symptoms of hypertension headache? Now, hypertension headache is described as a pulsating and throbbing type headache that is often experienced early in the morning. However, hypertension has also been linked to tension type headache and migraine. So, let's differentiate between both symptoms of hypertension and symptoms of hypertension headache. Firstly, normal hypertension, normal high blood pressure can also cause headaches shortness of breath, nose bleeding, flushing of the skin, dizziness, and also chest pain. Whereas the potential symptoms of hypertension headache, usually the headache pain, once again, will be a throbbing, pulsating type pain, and it is usually felt early in the morning. Pain in the head is also found either usually unilaterally being one side of the head, or both sides being bilateral. You may also experience nausea or vomiting, visual disturbances, and may also potentially have dizziness. So, what is the cause of hypertension headache? Now, the exact cause of hypertensive headache is relatively unknown. However, there is some thought that the, disten that the distension of the arterial blood vessels may be the cause. Now, there has been no research that has shown any correlation regarding this, though. However, current research suggests that sudden rises in blood pressure and severe hypertension, being 180 over 110, may have the causal relation to hypertension headache. Now, also, 80% of pheochromocytoma, which is a red tumour in the adrenal gland, have experienced sudden increases in blood pressure also experiences episodic headaches. Now, sufferers of hypertension headache that we see often do not experience any of these signs. In these cases then, a dysfunction in the upper cervical spine of the neck and a sensitized brainstem may be the true underlying cause. Now, the most modern headache research suggests that a sensitized brainstem, and specifically the trigeminal cervical nucleus, 
will detect any changes in elevation in blood pressure and can actually refer pain into the head and the face, as well as other associated symptoms of headaches and migraines, such as dizziness. Now, dizziness, with, as with hypertension, increases in prevalence with age. And one study has found that there is a significant relation in those who experience systemic hypertension and the symptom of dizziness, as well as dizziness being highly prevalent in female participants at the ages of over 60. And as with headaches suffered from hypertension, the pathophysiology of this link is relatively yet unclear. So, what can you do to help with hypertension headache? Now, remember, if your hypertension headache is not linked with any other rare forms of diseases, then we may suggest that the cause can be underlying from the upper three cervical spine of the neck and a sensitized brainstem. Now, if that is the case, then we would strongly recommend that you seek a headache practitioner, an expert who deals with headaches and migraines. Now, if you do seek a headache clinician and they prove and can determine that your hypertension headache is linked with the neck and with the brainstem, then treatment can begin straight away. Treatment can begin to desensitize the brainstem by treating the upper three cervical spine of the neck. Now, if the brainstem and the trigeminal cervical nucleus is desensitized, which means becoming less sensitive by treatment of the cervical spine, then that means your symptoms should reduce. Your hypertension headache plus the dizziness plus the nausea and or vomiting that you may experience should relatively become lessened over time to the point where the frequency and intensity becomes minimal or next to nothing at all. So, my advice is if you have not seen a headache clinician for your hypertension headache, then my strongest advice is to seek those who deal primarily with headaches and migraines. Now hopefully from today's video, you have a better understanding of what hypertension headache is, the symptoms, the cause, and hopefully a solution to help combat your hypertension headache. Once again, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Thank you.